Pumbeg, true seeker. Want to cover what was in the headlines Friday, December 8th, 2017. Boeing says it will beat SpaceX to Mars. As I've covered many times before, anytime there's news about NASA, SpaceX, Boeing, etc., having to do with space, it is always by the Cabal Code. The Cabal Code comes from the Kabbalah, which is important to Freemasonry, which has always been in control of the space program, which has always been in control of the United States of America. Kabbalah, the belief that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. This code of letters and numbers and dates on the calendar, it is used for everything the Freemasons do. And check this out. The date of this news, December 8th, 2017, date with numerology of 57. 57, very special number to the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, which has always controlled the space program and which is headquartered in Washington, D.C., where the federal government is. Notice the word conspiracy has Gematria 57, like Scottish Rite. This is about going to Mars, Mars 57, same with outer space, same with spaceship. You know, that's what the race is about. Who's going to build the spaceship to get there first? And let's just read... A little bit of the article. In an exclusive interview with Mad Money host Jim Cramer, Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg told CNBC that Boeing will beat Elon Musk's SpaceX to Mars. Musk took to Twitter to clap back at Muhlenberg saying, do it. Boeing Muhlenberg tells CNBC is in the final assembly stages of developing a rocket called the Space Launch System with the help of NASA. He estimates that the space launch system will be ready for a test flight by 2019 and that it will bring humans to Mars for the first time ahead of Elon Musk and SpaceX. If you notice, anytime we get news about space, it's always for something that's going to happen years out. And oftentimes it's a lot further than a year, two years. 2019 is not all that far away, but it's just always this way. It's always some distance out because they know that they're creating this news for the nation of people who are the United States of Amnesia, who can't remember anything past Monday. How many people are going to remember this story in 2019? And, and just watch, what do they always do with these stories? Then 2019 rolls around and they say, oh, we need another two years. We need another five years. Just always the same with the space program. We're going to take a first test flight in 2019 and we're going to do a slingshot mission around the moon, he said. Eventually we are going to go to Mars and I firmly believe that the first person that sets foot on Mars will get there in a Boeing rocket. So, notice they're going to do a slingshot mission around the moon. And remember, moon equals 57 and it's not arbitrary that moon equals 57. In the way that the moon orbits the earth, the way it's measured, it never gets further than 28 and a half degrees north of the equator or further than 28 and a half degrees south of the equator. That's a distance of 57 degrees. That's where this number comes from. It's just like how the word time in Gematria equals 47 and the Tropic of Cancer is at 23.5 north, the Tropic of Capricorn is at 23.5 south. These tropics measure the solstices, which measure the sun, which measures time. That's why there's 47 degrees on the Freemason compass. May sun. So, anyway, think about the moon landing. The moon landing happened in the time of Cancer, which is ruled by the moon, July 20th. In the year 69, the astrological symbol for cancer looks a lot like the number 69. The word cancer also has gematria 44 like space. But notice, moon, 57, this same number. Same number of the Scottish Rite. And look at the man who supposedly first walked on the moon, Neil Armstrong. Gematrio is the plural of gematria. Look at the gematrio overlap. You see it? If you use the S exception on Scottish Rite, Scottish Rite can also be 66. S is worth 10 instead of 1. So anyway, just understand, it's all Freemason ritual. It's all Freemason contrived news by the numbers. 
And at the end of the day, is there really any evidence that they're achieving anything that they're saying they're achieving? Well, that doesn't add up with the space program. So many people have pointed out all the things wrong with the moon landing, including the flag waving. You know, why is the flag waving? For a little bit more, NASA was established on a date with 94 numerology. I want you to see this about SpaceX. SpaceX equals 94. NASA established July 29th in 58, 1958. 7 plus 29, 36 plus 58, 94. If you write out 94, it sums to 147. Notice it also sums to 57. If you write out Freemason, sums to 147. If you write out Conspiracy, sums to 147. If you write out Outer Space, sums to 147. A lot of things about the space program have this number coded into it. This is a huge number in Freemasonry. It's not arbitrary that Washington, D.C. is named after the first recognized president, the 33rd degree Scottish Rite Freemason, George Washington, and there's 147 windows on the White House. You know? Just like it's not a coincidence that U.S. president equals 147. And think about the first president to dream up putting a man on the moon. You know? It was a president's idea. D.C., Freemason capital. Right here, this is the House of the Temple. This is an interview from the House of the Temple. I'll link this down below if you want to watch all of this. But there's this quick segment in here where they make this point about the space program. Listen up. He learned that almost all of the astronauts have been Freemasons. And again, NASA was established in 58, Freemasonry 58, Secret Society 58. Their secrets are based in Solomon's Temple 58, which goes back to Jerusalem 58. You break out your S exception, look at Washington 58, United States 58. Again, we just had the 58th presidential inauguration for Donald Trump, who announced he was running from the 58-story Trump Tower. And for Inauguration Day, he hired the 58-year-old Steve Ray. Ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry is what the headquarters is for the House of the Temple. Notice it's 187. From Trump's GOP convention on July 18th, 18-7 to Inauguration Day was 187 days. In Washington, D.C., 187, named after George Washington, 187, which used to be the Catholic colony run by the Jesuits, who are the Society of Jesus, 187. We have a Jesuit pope. We have a Jesuit president of the United States. Their birthdays are 187 days apart. You know, Donald Trump was just in Jerusalem for Jerusalem Day, and then he was at the Vatican to visit the pope on the 144th day of the year. May 24th, remember Jesuit order equals 144. JFK, the only Catholic president, met with the Pope 144 days before his assassination. And just before his assassination, his child died on the day that left 144 days left in the year. Number connected to killing all throughout history. NASA's had two tragedies in its history, and both by the same... Killing Co., which I cover very well in the book, plus a million other things. So sit tight. That book's coming. Tell it here. I'll keep giving you guys videos, you know. Keep the information flowing. All right, Truth Seeker. Until next time. I had to look up how much Boeing and SpaceX were being funded by NASA for this mission. Check it out. 6.8 billion total, SpaceX gets 2.6 billion, and Boeing gets 4.2 billion. And 
what stands out right away, 1968. That was the year that NASA first orbited the moon. That's where on Christmas Eve, the astronauts read from the book of Genesis, which didn't make any sense to do because in Genesis it says you cannot escape the barrier between the stars and earth. So very mocking thing to do. SpaceX also equals 68. They've had a number of launches in their history on dates with 68 numerology. CIA equals 68, which is ultimately here to mind control the public, which the space program has a lot to do with. As for the breakdown of 4.2 million to Boeing, Boeing's headquartered in the 42nd state, Washington state. Freemason equals 42. Outer space also equals 42. Another special number. Let's put it up here. Freemason 42. Spaceship 42. You see? One more time. Outer space. And then the other 2.6 million. Space alone has Gematria 26. So does Mason. So what a perfect breakdown for a completely Masonically run operation where again, it's all by the code. And honestly, what I think they really do with the majority of this money is just steal it, you know? I think this is why we have such a rich class of people, constantly siphoning away the tax dollars from the public, relocating it to the super rich who rule this world, paying for things such as Israel, you know? So we'll leave it there. Until next time.